In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Manufactum India Paper Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I will do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Manufactum India Paper Notebook. Now, this is a different company from the Manufactus Notebook that I reviewed not too long ago. That's an Italian company. Manufactum is sort of like a German home goods store. It's a really cool store. Unfortunately, they don't ship to the United States, which is so frustrating because for a long time there have been things that I want to order on there. But so when I go to Germany, I do try to pick up a few things there or at least take a look around. And I was there last month and I was able to get a few notebooks. And this was one of the more interesting ones. This is called the India Paper Notebook. And what's special about this notebook is it's 495 blank pages, 50 GSM pages. We have a nice bonded leather cover here with a, a rounded spine, the, the bands on the top and the bottom. We have two bookmarks. And it's a, a very nice package. The paste down on the inside is a laid paper and we have a space for a title or whatever. And you can see Manufactum, I don't know. This is like extra light paper, 50 GSM and 496 pages. So it's very, very thin. And I didn't know this at the time, but because I was buying it in store and on the website, on the website in the description, they say not for fountain pens. Well, I pretty much agree with that. But I still wanted to show this notebook because I think it is really nice. They're around 16 euros. They come with these silver cut or gold cut or red edges, which are really, really nice. Rounded spine, headband. It's just a very nice little package and it's put together pretty well. The cover does get in the way of it, you know, laying perfectly flat. It lays flat well enough for a notebook that's this small. I think for somebody that likes to sketch or something like that, on the go, this could be a good option. So looking at the paper test here, we can see a lot of bleeding. I see bleeding on the Pilot 3.8 millimeter, a bit on the 6.0, on the Stipula, on the Joya. The Lamy looks pretty good. The Lamy Ion looks pretty good in medium. The Mont Blanc 149 Cursive uh, Flex Nib, very bad. That looks terrible. The Auto Fude Ball looks a bit feathery. And I would say the rest of the pens here look pretty good. Now, if we go to the back, we can see pretty much a disaster. <laughs> All of the fountain pens bled through. The Lummies seemed to do the best. The 1.9 millimeter stub and the medium did the best. All of the roller balls bled through. Two of the gel pens did decently. The Secura Jelly Roll and the Uniball Sino, those did pretty well. Um, and actually the Pentel Sign Pen did decently and the Bic Click Ballpoint and then of course the Troublemakers all had their problems. So this is a notebook that you can use with gel pens, thinner gel pens, and ballpoints and pencil. If you're okay with using one of those, I think this is a pretty nice notebook. I like the bonded leather cover. Not that that's a particularly high-end cover, but it has a nice feel to it. The package, I think it's just really well put together. And that's why I ultimately said, you know what, I'll just show this notebook because somebody might be interested in a notebook like this that's not specifically for fountain pens. So what are my pros and cons for the Manufactum India Paper Notebook? The big pro here is that you have 496 pages in this very small form factor. It's a pretty well put together notebook. I like the bonded leather cover. I like the silver cut edges. I think those look really nice. You get two bookmarks, which can be helpful when you have so many pages. And, you know, it's just, it's generally well put together. You have a headband. It's a pretty flexible notebook. I'm not the most flexible, but pretty good. And generally speaking, the paper is nice to write on. Now, the cons. Well, obviously the biggest con is that this paper is not fountain pen friendly. Now, I didn't know that when I, I bought it, but 
Uh, kudos to Manufactum for specifically saying that it is not. But for somebody that wants to use ballpoints or more likely pencil, this is a really nice notebook. If you wanted a, a little pocket notebook that you could sketch in or something like that, this is a really nice product. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much and until next time.